what's up guys welcome back to my channel oh all right let me gather my thoughts guys because it's all over the place i have so much to say and not enough time because i don't want to bore you guys with a long video anyway. okay as you can see by all these colors that i have a hack that i wanted to try and as i was sitting on my couch thinking about the verses did you guys watch the verses oh my gosh i felt like it was a lot going on it was just huh, ciao mm. anyways as i was sitting there thinking about the time that i wasted watching the verses don't get me wrong talented fellas but i feel like as late as they arrived they should have been ready okay but mario very talented and he did his playing 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 but we're not talking about that anyways if you guys have an opinion under that y'all can put in the comment but i try not to put too much of my opinion on things that don't really pertain to me anyways or at least i tried guy i try you know i try anyways so yes as i was sitting down thinking of laying down on my couch thinking about you know the verses as i said before I was scrolling through, was it Instagram? I think it was Instagram. And I saw this hack that I always wanted to try, but I never could figure out how does it really work. Is it with gel polish or regular polish? So we're gonna try it together. We're gonna see how we get it done, if we're even gonna execute to have some type of art, okay? Cause like I, like, when, like I said guys, when I do my nails, I don't try to do perfection. I just try to do some kind of very, 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 like very you know, very, whatever word I'm trying to say. I am trying to do some kind of art, okay? That word for some kind of art. Anyways, so we are going to do water marble. Yes, I have my little dirty cup right here. And I have my dirty nail polishes right here. <laughs> I say it's dirty because for the life of me, I cannot get this to clean as best as I want it to be clean. And I said dirty for this because I had to dig through all my old press-on polishes and stuff. Because I used to make press-on before. Press-on. I used to make press-ons before I started to do acrylic. So, yeah. I had to go dig through all that I have. And some of them look so bad. <laughs> So we're gonna see to this day i did not really youtube it or google it or anything i'm just gonna assume they did it with this from the videos that i saw on from the video that i saw when i came across this again it looked like they was using regular polishes so that's what we're gonna do i don't want to do too much talking so let's get to the tips and i have no idea what tips we're gonna use i think we should go for long but then again, I don't want to have too much work to do with the long tips, right? So let's go back to that tip right here that they don't really have no C-curve, but they claim it's flat. I mean, they have C-curve, but they claim it's flat. All right, so I'm going to glue my tips on. I'll be back. Guys, I hate using these tips because they are so hard to glue on. Forget the fact that they are C-curve and not flat. Like it said it was, it has like a slight C curve, but they are so hard to glue on. Yeah, so they are so hard to glue. Like I have to hold it for years. I think it's like the shininess of it. Cause it's very shiny. See, it popped. I don't know why it takes so long to glue. And it's still not glue right now. It's like it's gonna pop. I'm gonna put some glue right here. All right, guys. Years later, I finally got this tip on. But anyways, so we're gonna get started with this. Keep in mind, guys, I've never done this before. This is my first time, and we're gonna do it together, okay? So I don't know what colors we're gonna use yet, but first, and we have some good old sink water that I fill up in this bottle right here. Cause you guys know I'm lazy, I don't like to get up, so I made my son fill that up for me. You know, acts nicely. Anyways, so I don't know what color we're gonna use yet, so let's put this to the side and figure out 
what color we're gonna use. So I'm, I always think about this color, and you know you have to put black and white because I feel like they just pop the colors out, right? And I was thinking about this, maybe blue, and maybe, ooh, look at this color right here, guys. Mm -hmm, pretty, funky fingers. Maybe this, and what else? I like this blue here. Definitely not silver. Um, oh, we can't forget this purple. Okay, so we're gonna use all these colors, guys. Okay, so guys, we're gonna start with the white, okay? And I feel like they drop a drop. And they use something like this to just make the decoration, right? So let's drop some white. What should we have with the black, then the white? Uh, is it supposed to look like that? It has disappeared. Uh, <laughs> let me zoom in so you guys can see this what's happening here I don't know if it's supposed to look like that should it, should it be acetone water why would it not call acetone water then okay so we're just gonna leave it like that right and we're gonna put black now. Whew, I'm scared. Hopefully the black doesn't mess it up. Look at this. I told you guys I haven't used this thing in a while, so uh, things are just not gonna work in my favor. Okay, so something is not happening here. Come on. There it goes. So we're gonna put that there. Maybe now when we put the white, it'll look better. Okay. There we go. I think we're getting somewhere, guys. So let's put the red. I feel like this is like a translucent color. Let's do the blue. Ooh, this is like a mermaid. It's giving me like a mermaid blue. Ooh, I like this. Me like. this blue. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I like it. I like it. Let's do this purple. I'm going to put the white. Just so I can like finish it off. And I like the color. I love this one though. Okay, so now let's see if we could do what they did, and all they did was this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. this. All right, so I'm scared. All right, you guys ready? Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in right here. Oof, I hate the mess that this is gonna make. Ugh, guys, I don't like the mess it made. I don't know. I 
Uh, I don't know. Let's try this one right here. Ugh, this is hard. Listen, guys, that is a failure. So let me go down, then come up. this is it and and I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't think this is a nice hack for me maybe I went too far with it maybe I put too much of polish or something wow okay so let's try to clean under here wow um this is so messy. Ugh. Hold on, I'm gonna get my dry spray. All right guys, I completely forgot about the fact that these are regular polish. They're gonna take time to dry. So I got this dryer spray. Long ago, it's fast drying. You know, finish so I guess you spray it on the dry as a nail dryer so you just spray it and it's just a dry the nail <coughs> dead <laughs> anyways so it's not dry it is not dry Oh, and I have zero patience, guys. Like, I have zero patience. But anyway, this is how it came out after my fellow tip of water Marlboro. As you can see, it's just... Can we salvage this? Maybe we could. I'm going to try. You know, I don't like to really give up. But it's not bad, guys. It's not bad. It's just the fact that I miscalculate the drying time. I don't like to wait for things to dry. So that's my only problem. So I have to wait for this to dry. So I can take hours. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go probably scratch my booty cheeks while I wait. Period. Because at this point, I may never try this again. If I do, I may have to go like thinner. I feel like this was just too I always like to freaking overdo things. Like I'm so heavy-handed when it comes to things. I think that was a problem here. I'm heavy-handed. Hold on. All right, guys. Instead of going to really scratch my booty cheeks and wait for this to dry, I think I'm just going to, like, clean up around my, my fingers because I just realized that this nail hack did dirty up my hands a lot. And, oh, uh, guys, you guys know I don't like that stuff. Don't like sticky stuff and stainy stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm taking uh, the tip thing and just taking a little bit of a little cotton, rolling it in here and wetting it 
and just going around and all right guys it's been like 10 minutes and it's still not dry yet so and i'm done cleaning up around the nail looks like i'm done doing what i can right now so i will be proceeding to scratching my booty cheeks as i wait for these to dry on my couch so i'll be right back all right guys there are as dry as it will ever get okay so i'm gonna use this mix new that i did and i'm just gonna start with this ombre and i need some clear to cover up that color i don't know if i should go in with some top coat i think i'm gonna go in with some base coat first Beef. all right now we're gonna be using the cure sky number 12 and me a secret um acrylic i mean monomer so let's start
All right, guys. So I'm just gonna file one finger with you guys. So what I do, I just go to the side and I make sure my file is as straight as possible. See, you see the straight line here and there. So and I'll bring my finger, my pinky to my on top of my thumb, like this, and doing the same thing here and make sure my file is straight. Then I'll go around, hold it. Oh, this application is so nice. And I'll go under towards the side and come up like this. That's what works for me. I'm not guaranteeing it's gonna work for everybody else, but it works for me. And then I go like this. Then I hold and just do the tip. I'll look to see if it's straight. And it seems like it's not straight a little bit. Then I look again. Oh, this one is not dry more. And I kind of like this. But I still want to get it a little more sharp. more sharp it's not done now nah, I go with a, like a softer grit I can't find my other one this is like a softer grit and I'll just go in circle and keep going till I go all the way up see I start from the side the bottom sides then I go in circle. Same thing with the side. Till I get to the top. Then I'll do the top. But I still keep that circle of motion going on. See? And that's how you get that crispy looking. Well, that's how I get my crispy looking shape square. See? Then I also use a soft bit just to. See? You guys see it? And that's just hand filing alone. Then I also go on top to the side like this. Can you guys see? Then I also go to the side right here and come on the top. And I could just finish this whole nail just with hand filing. But the thing about the e-filer, which is stand for electric file, is the fact that it seals in your cuticles so you want to finish it off with that to seal in your cuticles right and that's what i do then i lay it flat and i just go around it and i come just to give me that with that cuticle feeling that I like. Okay. And it's done. Like the shape. I feel like I could slim it out some more. But I like the shape. And you see my cuticles. You guys see this flush cuticles. Oh, I hate when my camera get blurry like this. Alright. Yeah, see that fresh seal cuticle? Yeah. Anyway, so I'm gonna go finish the rest of the nails. I'll be right back. There we go. All right, and they're all filed and buffed and cleaned up. So now, they're off. And I'm not gonna do too much with them because I feel like they're they are finished right now. So I think I don't know. I'm gonna put top coat on these things and just be done with it. But they are fire, guys. They are fire. Alright, guys. I don't know what top coat should I use. I feel like they are so fire. I should use the nut polish. But I'm not sure if I...
all right guys this is the finished product i hope you guys feeling it and you know overall i feel like i could have easily done this with just balsam gel and gel polish to make the process easier but it was fun and it did come out very vibrant and <clears throat> it's very nice i like it so um would i try this again yes i will try it again you probably will see me do it again next time probably in a couple more videos but this time just with smaller and layers of nail polish and i also want to try it with gel polish to see how that's gonna work okay i feel like the gel polish is gonna sink down and don't come back up but we'll see overall this was so fun and i hope you guys tried this hack too if you did already if you heard about it leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think about it and would you guys try it again is it an easier method than blossom gel or is just is it fun for you guys you guys just enjoy it me i don't kind of i don't quite enjoy the waiting process because i'm not patient but even i even i even talk fast okay because i'm already like i said before i have adhd my head is already processing the next subject the next topic the next everything so yeah the waiting process is not for me but the outlook the outcome is beautiful i love it guys if you are feeling this look give it a big thumbs up comment down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button until then i'll see you guys next time in the next video i love you guys for free and not at all more Bye-bye now. I finally find something to put in my treasure box. I got this one. I know one fell out before somewhere. But time to take. Oh, this is pretty.